Hello once again, Diorama enthusiasts and fellow Molders. I'm excited to share to you my latest work called Indiana Adventures. Yep, it is inspired from a movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Harrison Ford is one of my favorite actors. Going over my usual diorama steps, I skipped the sketching part as I had the idea in my mind's eye. I went over to build an assembly of the kit, figures, and I had the other diorama elements. Like in most builds, I scraped and sand seam lines and flashes. Like in most builds, I scraped and sand seam lines and flashes. I filled the ejector pin marks with putty and sanded them smooth. Once initial assembly with the main kit is done, I proceeded to modify, convert, and scratch build the three figures. The Dr. Jones' head was done using Dragon's free bonus headsets in one of their figure kits. Armature wires and poses were done. Sanding off the old details will be replaced later. The fedora hat was sculpted alongside the pants, leather jacket, and shirt. Using a cheap picture frame, styrofoam, and thick wires, the initial diorama base is created. At this stage, I am already visualizing the layout and positions of the diorama elements. I mask the edge of the picture frame using a soft adhesive tape to protect it from the painting stage. I 
I cover the styro materials with the roofing sealant purchased from a hardware store. You see, I don't have enough funds or budget, so I try to be resourceful and budget friendly. The tree branch which will hold Dr. Jones's leader was constructed using three thick wires bent to shape accordingly. To support the styro that serves as the hanging clip, I inserted two L-shaped wires through the picture frame. The usual ground material is applied and sprinkled with sand, stones, and cat litter. You can find them in your backyard, hardware stores, art stores, and pet shops. Day 2 In the stage, I lay down and arrange the dio elements to visualize the dio scenery. Once okay, I proceed with the painting stage. A few moments later. I spray the iron oxide color first in selected portions of the kit to serve as the base color when I do the hairspray paint chipping later.
The wood panels or the lumber in the cargo were painted with different shades of wood, earth colors from Vallejo. Don't worry about the excess paints as you can correct them with filtering and washes later. Using several painting mediums and techniques, I tried to achieve the weathering for a worn-out vehicle look. I changed the German grey color with a blue tone by doing some OPR or oil paints. Weathering the wheels to look like it has gathered dust, I used Tamiya's animal colored buff. Then remove excess paints with a cotton tip and soak with thinner. Making an alternative headlight lamp, I use the clear of epoxy to part. Scratch built the treasure crate using a chopper tool and styrene sheets.
Indiana Jones figure was 85% scratch built by using a dragon head with hands and shoes kit bashed from several kit makers. As I have explained before, diorama basis has to be given the same amount of care, time and effort for quality.
Thanks for watching. Scale modeling is fun. Copyright 2020 at Ivan Terrible. I am not an expert but I love creating dioramas. See you on my next build.